Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European uh, Forex pairs. But I want to start with the Australian US dollar today because we've been triggered in <clears throat> we've been triggered in on the short trade and I just want to go over it lightly. So look, if you've missed the trade, it doesn't matter. We're going to get another setup, okay? So um, first of all, uh, first of all, we don't have five waves down here just yet. We know we had five here on the 15 minute chart which I'm not going to go to at the moment so we had five waves down here so we knew we'd get another five waves so we we're looking to short the low here and uh, that's fine that's that's occurred um, and now we're in this wave three low here there may be one more little low to come in, in into play here it doesn't really matter but it will get a bit choppy and complicated across here as wave four then wave five down through to here once we do have these five waves here then we can look for a counter trend as an a and a b and a c wave here and then we can look to short again from uh from that point there so we can put that under there as a short trade here we can also um if i can just grab this again here just get change my tool there's lots of different ways that we can look to uh regain our short position through here and we will look at those too as time unfolds uh uh with with, with this market as well so we're certainly on track it's looking fine and uh like i said if you haven't taken that short there that's okay we can still be we're going to be building in over here there's a long way to go yet if we are right um then there is a long way to go but as always it's um, managing the risk and it's step by step and we had five waves here so we took the trade we knew we we're going to get another five here we're highly likely to get a larger five here and if that is the case then we're going to get wave three coming in here which will be nice and strong uh to the downside so all is looking uh really well for this market um, and we'll continue uh, with that tomorrow. Now, I want to go uh, over to the euro side, but I want to start with the US dollar index here, of course, because it's also been um, it's been a trigger for uh, many of the <clears throat> crosses, uh, especially the euro, of course. So, in a nutshell, here we have wave three here, an A and a B and a C here for wave four. So we're looking for wave five to move up, taking this high out here, and that will be the top of the trend there. Um, this will be in line with the US dollar, uh, sorry, the, uh, with the S&P 500 uh, as such, part of the carry trade situation. And um, yeah, so what we were looking for here from wave four is wave one and wave two, wave one and wave two, then three and four and five. And taking this top out here was the trigger to short the euro, which we did, and the Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar and so on and so on. So um, that's all panned out quite nicely now. Um, we can just move in here. I'll just cut into the two hour chart here rather than the four hour chart. And we've got wave two here, wave one here. We're looking for this for an A and a B and a C wave here. And then we're looking for a move up here further. And this is all played out really quite nicely. I'm just gonna drill in. I'm moving a little bit quickly here. I'm just gonna move into the 15 minute chart here. Uh, lots to talk about today. So um, yeah, look on track. We have you know basically one long position here. Wave one, wave two. We were in here talking about this yesterday. It was possible this wave C coming down here was really sort of well. It, it's pretty ugly, really, in terms of structure and form. But it was doable. You know, you could squeeze it in. But I thought there may be one more little low here. But at the same time, our strategy was was to take the highs out here. Uh, so that should be done and dusted, and that would have also triggered the euro to go um, short as well. Same with the Aussie dollar and so on and so on. So now we're looking into this trend here. Uh, everything's sort of on its way nicely here. So it will keep building to the upside here. And on the uh, Euro US dollar, we'll go to that next. So just on the two hour chart now, um, this is a two hour chart, Euro US dollar. I'm not sure where my little labeling's gone. There it is. Now, look, there are lots of different ways to count all of this. Uh, as you know, different Elliott people will have different things and, and so on and so on. But um, I've just taken a sort of a viewpoint that, um, well, I just really worked off the US dollar index. That's what we did. So, and that's worked out just fine. And um, we can adjust these accounts later. But the main point is, is that uh, the analysis is important, but the trading is 
more important. So look, we've got our first trigger in here. This is what we were looking for, uh, a break here. Our main trade really was the 1.1 to become the retested resistance because in reality, the move down through here is only in three waves so far. We had five here, so we know we'll get another five, but um, it's still, it's not presenting us with five waves yet. And the other point with this too, um, this is the closest largest number here, the 1.1, and we want that as resistance, we're not, not as the current support here. Now there's always a process from market to migrate from one side of the fence to the other, and it's all always pretty much the same, and that is that it will move down to the level, it will bounce back uh, to the level, uh, bounce back, then it'll go move through, then it'll come back and retest it, and then it will go down again. So um, what we need to understand, we need to understand this sort of migration sort of thing through this uh, price point uh, as volume and uh, uh, people change hands uh, as this goes through. But um, anyway, we've got the wave count as well. So dropping into the 15 minute chart uh, here, Get the old brain working so here we go here so what's the daisy so it's really just a mirror image of the us dollar index so we've got wave one and wave two here <clears throat> and we're looking for this to uh drop uh further from here so um let me just sort of get this into perspective here i think there's one more little wave this will be a 38.2 retracement level so that could actually just go to this level here and then drop from here um, and then there'll be an A and a B and a C wave coming back onto this line here or the 50-60% retracement level because I'm looking at wave, basically wave one to here or to here, uh, wave two to here, um, and then all of this here is wave three here in terms of one and two here, three and four and five, and the other third wave here. So, but still, it, we've still got time too because this will, this is going to, um, it's going to play out a little bit like this here. So. The idea is to trade trade less, but have positions all down the side here at certain point. I mean, you know, I don't know what people trade in terms of their account size and things, but um, I think having different positions at different price points rather than sort of lob lobbing it all in at one point, because you put it all at one point and you find it very difficult to breathe and, and to do other things. But if you've got different contracts at different price points, well, then you kind of can manage the whole movement much better. You can add, it's more of a question of not when to get stopped out or when to get in. It's a matter of that you are in at all different prices. And as the market is breathing in and out as it's moving, you know, you can add and reduce and you don't have to be perfect about it. You know, that's the beauty of it. So anyway, not a time for lessons, but um, this as a resistance here will create the short side of the market. So moving on a little bit, just going to work through the, so the Euro, um, uh, pound here. Uh, as you know, we're looking at wave one and two and three and four here. So uh, I don't think this is actually finished just yet. Wave two was simple. So wave four is going to be a little bit more complex. So I'm just going to cut through to the two hour chart in here. And I was looking at it last time we spoke like this and um, I'm not quite sure where we were. We must have been down here somewhere. So anyway, we're in the B wave. We're looking for that 50, 60% retracement level. And then we'll be looking for five waves down uh, into uh, this area through here, but one and two and three, four, five. So yeah, uh, if you wanted to short this, that's fine too, but uh, maybe just put a line in the sand like that. You're looking for you're looking for five waves up into this section here. This length here will have some equality <clears throat> to this length, length here as well. Um, so yeah, once again, uh, we'll be certainly looking for uh, another move down here. So um, expect bounces off three and two and one, of course, um, strong bounces. So even if it moves down to here, it's gonna bounce back for you. Do you know what I mean? So. Uh, yeah, so you need to get in there. And if it's going to migrate across a trend line like this too, as you know, we've talked about this many times before, it moves through it like this, the same sort of story, moves back, and then it moves down. It can have another retest here too. It's, it's not often, but it occurs, um, and it looks a bit like that. So you need to accommodate that. Okay, the next one that we're looking at here is the Euro-Yen. So a little bit squashed up here, it's on the 15 minute chart, which I think is fine. I don't need to go into the um, into the bigger picture here. Let me just 
get this little guy here. So a couple of things here. Um, obviously, we're at number eight. Our target's the 120 um, in this case. So our first target was number eight. We know eight is a profit-taking number wherever you see it um, there. So uh, I don't think this is finished yet. So we're looking for an ABC correction, an A wave. And the B wave here is really quite nice quite simple and you know self-assured um so we should see five waves down here so looking at uh well one and two and this is not finished yet here either if i can just have a quick look at this okay so we've got one and two um three four uh that just about finished there now that should run out five so that will be here then there'll be wave four here which will come back up to wherever this tops out here and then wave five here so it's not going to come down a lot here in fact that's sort of how it's going to look here um i mean normally you would expect wave c to come down past wave a here but um we've got you know, it, it was news driven here, so we just got to be a little bit careful. But that little that little gap here, cross here, would just about do that too. So uh, look for that to be sort of filled out. So really, once this has come down into this area here, then you can just put a put a line through here somewhere and then take the long trade through there. That would be the simplest way. But watch watch out for this little way four because that's where the pivot's got to be. Um, sorry, the trend line here so to speak. So, you know, once it's down below here, below the level, um, and this is really important too, uh, the Fibonacci is as, um, as a price ratio, one, two, three, four, or sorry, one, two, three, five, eight, halfway between five and eight here is the midpoint here. Um, I call it a 65 number. Uh, in this case, it's a bit complicated because it's a it's one one six point five zero, but uh, same same thing, same geometry and ratio. So anyway, you can see it playing out here. So this will be a nice level to do some buying on once it becomes support. But it must trade below here first. This structure must be finished first. Okay. Um, the next one here would be uh, the cable. Now. There's good, there's good reason to, you know, see a, a stronger uh, 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 pound as well. Uh, however, um, and, and that's based off this being wave one here and wave two over here or wave one here better still and wave two over here. Um, I know that we can count this differently as well. This can also be counted uh, from this point here where this is not finished uh, here, even a truncated fifth wave. So a fourth, nice strong third wave here, truncated uh, fourth wave complicated as a triangle pattern, and then wave five to this point, uh, which would leave this one here corrective. So, um, yeah, I don't think we should just sort of, you know, we've just been waiting for this to roll out, roll into place. And if it does, um, if it gives us a setup, well, then we can move in. So it's possible that this is one, one and two and three and four and five here pulling back to the 61.8 percent mark in three waves here and then moving up here so all that's good too um i haven't uh resolved this little five wave structure down here but it'll have some sort of a quality to this one and that's our target area box here 50 percent at the top 61.8 percent here so once again here what we can do is we can look to just keeping it really sort of simple here um that trend line there or we can go I'll just borrow this here and just save this here long here we'll just change the color drop the size down I think that like for it to be safe because we're trading off the low here we you know because we're trading off this low yes we could just buy it on this low too but you know it's it's just all this added risk here so look the this this area here, this 1.3 here is, is interesting because uh, three is always group one and then of minor degree here, the 130. And then we have one, two and three here, which is also group one. So this is the top of group one here. This is the top of subgroup one here. So we know that if subgroup, we know that if three becomes a tested support, then it will separate itself in the order flow from this number here and then start to look at the second strongest number in the market, which is five. So here 
it couldn't find support here it traded above it come back to do the retest breakouts important retest is more important couldn't find support here either so that's the pattern that it left but over here if it finds support here tested support then you know that it's separated from this number and that's very important because that's the load so that that support on that to me um, being late as it may be is uh, the confirmation that we're moving higher so that's really where you want to get a long trade from so we could move in on the 132 in a small way get a position here and a position here and then when the five becomes support get a position here uh, as well the reason for the 132 also here too is because it would be above the 61.8 percent retracement level uh, so the balance would have shifted as well um, if you can count five waves down here on a on a you know uh, on a 10 tick chart or something and really nail it will then by all means buy it but um, otherwise play it a little bit uh, safe here I'll just need to save that so I know what I've spoken about last time and carry on from that point okay so um, did we look at the pound yen I don't have it on my chart here anyway US dollar um, yen here now Obviously, the yen crosses are uh, all doing this much the same thing, the pound yen, euro yen, and US dollar yen here and so on. But the US dollar yen is a little bit stronger here. It hasn't sort of corrected. But I think that, um, you know, we've had a bit of fun here uh, in terms of being long here and, and basically getting out here. So we we're looking for a position to get back in. And I understood that this was a corrective pattern here. Um, so we looked at being long here. And... Um, yeah, but I think I may have made a mistake. Um, apologies for that. So it, it just, this this trend just seemed to do something a little bit different from the other crosses. So it's quite probable that um, this goes right on top here and this one goes here and this one goes here. And the wave one is the little movement up here. And all of this is the third wave up here. That's quite possible. So what we need to do is just go to the 15 minute chart here. And we have to like look to break even here at least. So, um, so we need to put uh, a stop under this low here. Um, because it's possible that this is the the, 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 the top here. Um, if I'm wrong again and you get stopped out because it does something like this and I get you into more strife here, then the 65 number that I spoke about before, which is halfway between 5 and 8 here, is at 106.50 here, then that's the one that you need here. So, so what we need to do here is we need to uh, basically protect what we have here, which is crumbs but um a tasty mortal all the same so we need to protect ourselves from this position here and i'm not quite sure what will happen i've just went back over all of this and just tried to sort of figure out because it was really an odd looking sort of structure so um anyway main point here is that we need to look after uh, this situation so if you are long put the stop here and um and we'll get back up over here or once we have a decent correction here we'll pick up the thread and we'll take it from that point there um right okay that's it sorry for being so long i try to move through as quickly as i can um so alrighty, uh cheers